Well, welcome to the Instant Karma Lounge here at the cabin at the Sundance Film Festival. I'm here with Brandon and Christopher. Their film is Possessor. Uh, brain implants, assassinations. It sounds like a futuristic uh, Manchurian candidate. So tell me about your film. Uh, I mean, you summed it up. Was that good? It's brain implants, <laughs> it's assassinations. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there's a pretty good cat in there at one point. <laughs> so is it like uh, the inspiration for this? You know, because it's it, the subject matter is so unique. So is that, was there a catalyst or something you thought that gave you the idea for the film? Uh, I was just really interested in uh, the way that we construct identities and, and kind of maintain them uh, in order to function on a basic level, and I wanted to uh, look at that in a sci-fi way. Well, sci-fi is becoming science fact because they're talking about implants, you know, for for medical things or for like that. And so, what, what are the ramifications of that of people getting implants? Uh, how far did you take it in your film? Well, in the film, it, it's not real technology. Obviously, it's it, inspirational. It's, it's, yeah. it's someone being yeah, yeah. able to completely inhabit another person's body. It is actually kind of rooted in real science. I mean, there's a long history of neuroscience that's dealt with uh, brain implantation. Um, in the 50s and 60s, uh, when the ethics were a little bit dubious, there was a lot of uh, human and animal experimentation where they could control people's uh, hands and, and emotions and found that electrical stimulation of certain areas of the brain uh, could allow them to control someone physically. Right. Uh, but in the film, it's, it's kind of more metaphorical. It's, it's not speculative Absolutely. fiction. Oh, introduce me to your, your Christopher. Are you an assassinator or are you implant or tell me what you do in the film? I'm um, uh, <laughs> I'm so wildly distracted by what is going on here. There's it's crazy, so huh? much going on. There's a yeah. guy in a bed over there. <laughs> Just um, well, when we're done, you can have a massage. I you can get you can get everything. This is a karma lounge, so it's all about wellness. There's and a lot going on. Yeah, there is, isn't it? All right. Sorry. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I, uh, really? Was that, no, you said am I assass assassin? Yeah, yeah, thing? what is your role um, in the film? Are you an my assassin? My role in the or? film is, um, well, no, I'm not an assassin. Well, kind of. I mean, uh, Andrew Riseborough's character, is in, who's also in our film, um, uh, she uh, uses this technology to inhabit other people's bodies to carry out assassinations. So technically, yes, but I am, but through her. And uh, tell me about the, the world. They're having a premiere here at Sundance? Uh, yeah, we just had it. Right, right. And how was the reaction? Because it's, for a filmmaker, seeing your film with an audience had to be amazing. It was, uh, I, it was amazing. It was also, it was in that, the Red the Ray Theater. And that was, um, I love that the theater. It's a newer one, right? But I, I really like, I love and, that theater. And as a director, was there anything in the film you thought, wow, that got a laugh or that went over well or I didn't expect that reaction because seeing it with an audience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I always... I always worry that people aren't laughing enough when they watch my movies. That's my own uh, one point of insecurity. But it, it went over well, honestly. We uh, had a really great crowd turn out, and uh, we had a good talk afterwards. And Yeah, the Ray Theater has amazing sound, and uh, it, it was a good screening. That's excellent. All right, well, it's called Possessor here at the Sundance Film Festival. And a final note, I'm a big fan of your dad. I'm Generation X. I, I grew up. You know, just he's an idol to me. So just this is as close as I get to him touching you. <laughs> and I, I, I think you're gonna have a great career. How do you chip off the old block? So thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you very much.